All right, it was just a matter of time. I knew it was coming soon and it came sooner than what I thought. But Logic Pro just came with a new update and they have a lot of good things in this update. But one thing I'm very excited about is the mastering assistant. You know, they got AI mastering now. Bolo! All right, before we get started, if you guys need some good quality drum kits, make sure you guys go ahead and click that link in the description and check out my drum kits. They're all very cheap, they're all very dope, and they all will help you. So if you guys need some good quality drums, like the drums that you're gonna hear in this beat I'm about to play, make sure you guys go ahead and click that link in the description and get you some drums today. Also, it's that time of year, and you better go ahead and get your equipment right now before everybody buys it up. So if you guys need some equipment, make sure you guys go ahead and click on that link in the description and head over to zounds.com where they have a whole bunch of stuff on the site that requires no credit or background check, meaning you can go ahead and order it, they'll ship it to you, and you can just pay it off over time using monthly installments. All they need is a credit or a debit card on file so they can just pull every single month. Now, it's not everything on the site, but it is a whole bunch of stuff on the site that you can get with no credit or background check from Zounds.com. But you got to make sure to click that link in the description, you know, my link right now. And last but not least, you need to protect your equipment. And one of the best places to go to is Analog Cases. They have cases for just about every single one of your studio needs, whether it's a microphone, whether it's a MIDI controller, whether it's a keyboard or whatever, they have cases that will fit it all. So if you need to get some cases to protect your gear, make sure you guys go ahead and click on that link in the description and head over to Analog Cases right now and you'll save 10%. All right, so Logic has a pretty big update. They did an update for the iPad as well, and they did it for, you know, us regular desktop and laptop users, but they just released the new 10.8 update, and this update came with a few features. Now, I'm not gonna do the update on the iPad because I just made a video about why I'm not using the Logic iPad version, but the desktop version, I use that a lot. So I'm gonna talk about that today. Now with this update, it came with Sample Alchemy and it came with Beat Breaker, which I'm probably gonna talk about that next. It came with a new Slip and Rotate tool as well, which I might use that, I don't know yet. And now with this new update, you are able to record in 32-bit. But what I'm focusing on today is the new Mastering Assistant. It is a new AI mastering tool that is now built into Logic. So this will be cool when you get done doing a whole beat or doing a song. You don't have to necessarily send it off to get mastered or go to different websites to get it mastered. You can just do everything inside of the program. How good is this? I really don't know. Does it sound better than a human mastering engineer? I don't know, but this is a tool that you guys can use, especially for you guys who don't really know how to you know, master your music. So let's go ahead and check it out, look at some of the features, and I'm gonna go ahead and slap it on one of my beats real quick so you guys can hear how it sounds. All right, so we're in Logic Pro right now. I have a beat pulled up and this is how the beat sounds. All right, so there it is, that's the beat. Now let's go ahead and put the mastering assistant on it. So before we do that, we have to let it know what region we want this to analyze. So we can actually take our little loop points and move them to whatever region we want it to analyze. I just do the whole song just to keep it simple and easy. And then uh, you can do like the hook part or you can do whatever, but you have to have this region thing selected so it'll know what to analyze. Now it's very easy. From that point, all you have to do is go right to your master track. They have this new tab right here where it says mastering. You just click on that and then it's going to analyze the whole track right now. And as you guys can see, it does not take that long to do it because I'm actually talking through this real time. And right now it's creating a mastering chain. And uh, right here at the top is letting us know if it's almost done. So bam, it's done. There it is. They gave us a custom EQ and they did a custom mastering chain for this particular beat. So as you guys can see, they have a character thing up here, custom EQ dynamics, and they have a spread. Now you can actually spread the track with a little bit of width, but you have to make sure that this correlation meter is on this side right here, because if it's on this side, that means it's out of phase. So they have a phase meter for you right here. They have a dynamics 
uh, on here with a true peak and they have a LUFS, which a lot of the stuff that I master, I always try to look at my volume through LUFS. That gives me a general idea of how loud the track is. Okay. They have an excite button on here. Like it says, an excite button just kind of gives it a little bit more energy to the track. Now, another thing they have on here is they have transparent. Um, it's a certain character that they have in here. They have other characters in here. They have a clean that's for like EDM and stuff like that. They have a valve that's for like hip hop and stuff. And then they have a punch and that's more or less for like rock or whatever. But I just leave it on transparent uh, most of the time since I've been using it. And uh, of course you got the custom EQ. They have it set for right here. This is what the AI felt that the EQ should be. You can actually take it down back to, you know, a flat EQ if you put it all down to zero or you can take it all the way up and make it really extreme if you want. I'm going to leave it right here at 100. Now, if you guys want to hear what has been done to your song without it having the level of a master, you can just click right here where it says loudness compensation and you can select that and that way you'll be able to hear the changes that was made during the mastering process without it being loud because a lot of people think that just because the master is loud is right. No. This way you'll be able to hear the changes without the levels being too high. Let's go ahead and hear this right now and see what it did to the song. So let's go ahead and let's just loop one part of this song. Let's just go right here to the uh, to the hook part right here and let's just hear this part. And I'm gonna bypass it first and I'm gonna unbypass it. Not bad, kind of did his thing. Um, it took out some of the bass and added some more mid-range and stuff like that to it, but it's, it's not bad, it's not bad. So let's just hear what it did without, you know, hearing the actual volume increase. So let's turn on this loudness compensation and let's check that out. That's how it sounded before. Okay, this is how it's gonna sound after. Okay. All right, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and go through some of these characters real quick and see how it sounds like that. Yeah, I like it right down transparent. That doesn't sound too bad right there. But as you guys can see, this thing actually can master your track. And it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I think it's a good tool for some of you guys to use who are not familiar with mastering and stuff like that or who don't know how to master. And I think it can help out a lot of people in the long run. So yeah, seems pretty dope. So there it is, the new mastering assistant in Logic Pro. Seems pretty dope. Seems like it's usable. And you know, I might be using it a little bit more than what I thought. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.